free thought, the use of reason rather than faith, tradition, or authority, to form opinions on religion. More wars have been waged, more people killed in the name of religion than by any other institutional force in human history. So with such wildly contrasting beliefs in this country, why aren't we at each other's throats? Here's why. It's our Constitution and its very core of freedom from religion. Our country was founded in part by refugees seeking freedom, seeking to escape centuries of religious persecutions, holy inquisitions, witch hunts. The United States of America was the first nation where our founders did not claim a pipeline to a divinity. It was a revolutionary act that they created a secular and entirely godless constitution whose only references to religion are exclusionary. Uh, that there should be no religious test for public office. The founders were aware of the inquisitions and the pogroms and the religious wars and the terrors in Europe and the persecution in many of the individual colonies, and they wanted no part of that in our new government. So they erected what Thomas Jefferson called a wall of separation between church and state, and that protects all of us. It has prevented the bloodshed and warfare that we see in so many parts of the world where religion is involved in government. There are some believers who don't see the difference between neutrality and hostility. They think efforts of groups like ours to keep the government neutral are actually a hostile act against their faith. When we are not asking for the government to be pro-atheistic either, if the government stays neutral, the government stays secular, then uh, everybody's an insider, nobody's an outsider. Freedom from religion is what we all value so highly. Privately, I can believe or disbelieve whatever I want. When you think about social and moral progress, it's usually made by rebellious people, people who break the mold, people who are rejecting the dogma. Most progress is made by people who are free thinkers to some degree. They are challenging the status quo. Uh, the abolition of slavery was led by people who were either religious liberals or, or religious heretics. In fact, during the 1800s, the word infidel was a synonym for abolitionist. So you can name all sorts of progress made through history by people who tend to be either very liberal or, or free-thinking individuals. Otherwise, how is progress going to be made? Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. It's brilliant. There's a reason it's the First Amendment. <laughs> 